Well, the first point about uh, quantum mechanics is that uh, all of you have heard uh, that quantum mechanics applies in the microscopic domain. It applies to electrons, atoms, things of atomic size. This is only partly true. It applies to everything. It applies to human beings, it applies to galaxies, it applies to the universe presumably and it applies to electrons, it applies to photons and so on. It is just that the manifestations of quantum mechanics become very dramatic when you look at extremely small objects, become even more dramatic when you look at extremely small objects moving very fast relativistically. So that is the reason why one feels that quantum mechanics is applicable only in the microscopic domain, not true. It is applied everywhere. It has some manifestations which are very dramatic even in real life, even in uh, the microscopic domain. For instance, my favorite example is the fact that uh, solids are rigid objects, the fact that I do not go through the floor here, the fact that matter does not penetrate itself, two rigid, two solids do not interpenetrate. This is due to quantum mechanics, it is due to the Pauli exclusion principle which follows from quantum mechanics. Okay. So there are these very deep consequences. The phenomena you are used to in daily life like magnetism or electrical conduction or the propagation of sound in, in solids, these are all quantum phenomena, not just superfluids, superconductors and so on which are given as usual examples of macroscopic quantum mechanics, but even ordinary phenomena like electrical conduction, conduction of uh, sound in, in solids, um, magnetism, the existence of permanent magnets, the existence of diamagnets, paramagnets, all these things depend on quantum mechanical principles finally. They are not explainable classically and of course you know that uh, in the early days of quantum mechanics there were several ways in which people found that classical physics failed. One of them was black body radiation. So the very fact that a collection of photons behaves quantum mechanically uh, that is an obvious uh, um, instance where you have quantum mechanics for large systems in this sense. Okay. 